Yo, what is Abedin? My name is Abedin and welcome back to a brand new video and today is Christmas and you know what that means? You can now open all of the gifts that you were stuck you hopefully stocked up on in the last few days. So let's go ahead and go through what's inside of all of them. Starting with the chili gift of deep cold and inside of it, uh, I, I don't think there was any doubt that it was going to be an axe. It is obviously an axe, and you can see that this one is the frost axe. It looks so, so cool with the icicles hanging off of it, and I assume that its buff is on ice wood. So let's go ahead and take it up to the Taika Peak to see how good it is at cutting ice wood. Alrighty guys, I am at the Taiga Peak and I've got my Frost Axe. Let's go ahead and see how much faster it is at cutting ice wood when compared to the Mini Axe. And you can see that it is significantly faster. That's definitely... That is so fast. Let's let's compare it to the Mini Axe. Yeah, yeah. The Mini Axe is really, really slow. It's, it's making the Mini Axe look so slow, even though the Mini Axe is the fastest axe in the game. So yeah, um, obviously this isn't a very good axe on any other wood but ice wood, so you're going to want to use this if you want to get ice wood anytime. Go ahead and bring it if you plan to get ice wood, and you'll probably end up saving a lot of time. So yeah, that was a pretty obvious gift. I think most of us predicted that it was going to be some sort of ice axe that would be specialized in frost wood. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. Anyways, next up we have the wobbly gift of most confusion and inside of it, you, there's obviously going to be a wobble bobble. Everyone already knows this. This is kind of a yearly thing. Same with the axe gift. It's kind of a yearly thing, so we can pretty much assume what's going to be in it. And this one we can see that it is a pretty confused wobble bobble. It is a white wobble bobble and its name is pretty funky. And as always you can attach it to the hitch of a truck. Alrighty next we have the gift of citrus tart and obviously this is going to be an orange ball. Now you probably already knew this but in case you didn't every ball has a number on it and this number kind of reflects which ball it is in a sense. It's a completely unique number, no two balls can have this same number unless of course they're duplicated. So for example, I opened this ball and it gave me the number 1035 and that means that this is the 1035th orange ball to have ever been opened. So it's pretty cool, every ball number is unique. Anyways, next up we have the most infamous gift. This one is the vehicle gift. And inside we can see, oh, that's so sick. We got a snowmobile. That's awesome. So this snowmobile you can spawn in. It costs you $460 to spawn in every time. And you can see that it is pretty slow when you're not driving on snow. But as soon as you touch snow, you start going super speed. So that is super awesome. I'm going to make a video. Actually, it's probably already uploaded on racing the new snowmobile. And Electro will have one on everything you need to know about it. So I'll leave links in the description to each of those videos. But essentially, the basics of what this vehicle does is when you drive it on snow, it is very, very fast. And then when you drive it on other surfaces, it is quite slow. So yeah, there is only one seat on this thing. So if you want to take your friends, they're going to have to have their own snowmobiles. But you know what? That's perfectly fine with me. I want to see droves of snowmobiles just driving around in Lumberland. That sounds super, super cool. One other thing about this snowmobile is that it can actually be dragged, so you can actually put it into your truck and then you can drive it around, so that is super, super awesome. You can just take it over to snowy areas in your truck and then drive it around and then put it back in and then drive back, which is super, super awesome. The snowmobile doesn't have a hitch, so you can't attach any trailers to it, but you know what, that's fine. It would probably be too OP if it has storage anyways. Okay, next up we have the Tall Gift of Stone, and this one obviously opens up to a pin. This one you probably already predicted was going to be a pin, just because it is a retexture of the last year's pin gift. Currently, you can't actually open the box, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the Wide Gift of Stone. And inside of it, you can see that there is a massive boulder. Um, I, this one also, you can't open the box, so 
What you can take away from this is that we're going to be able to play Massive Boulder Bowling. Uh, so that's going to be super, super fun. Uh, currently, these gifts don't even save on your base, though, so it's kind of an issue. We're just going to have to wait for Defaultio to fix that. Anyways, finally, we arrive at the best gift. This is the best. I mean, obviously, no one had any doubts that this is the best gift ever in Lumber Tycoon. So inside of it, you can see that there is a book. It is actually Fairy Potter and the Deathly Shallows. So this is actually a gift that I made. That's why it's so great. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but anyways, this book, you can probably obviously tell that it is a parody of Harry Potter, and the specific book that I was referencing when I made it was the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Um, so I just kind of changed it to the Shallows because that is pretty related to what Hoover would be concerned about. Shallow waters and boats usually don't go very well together. I had a very fun time coming up with that and modeling it and all of that, so hopefully you guys at least laughed at this one. It, I thought it was pretty funny, but anyways, that is pretty much it for all the gifts. Hopefully you guys got stocked up or something. As of right now, you can still buy the gifts off the shelves, but that's not going to last for very long, so make sure you go stock up as soon as possible if you haven't already. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!